It's a dark night to be bad guys. From Dust to Dawn is directed by Robert Rodriguez and is probably his best movie to date. I mean, out of everything, this is probably Robert Rodriguez's movie I adore the fucking most. Okay, it is awesome. Okay, so the story revolves around the Gecko Brothers, played by George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino. They are thieves, basically, but you know, Quentin Tarantino has issues, of course or Richard, Richie, however you want to call him, has issues. And George Clooney, or Seth, is a simple man. He does things simply. He doesn't kill if, if not necessary. Nothing like that. Richie, on the other hand, yeah, he can't help himself. Okay? And it is shown at the beginning of the movie. Hell, Richie gets shot. I mean, yeah, he gets shot in the hand. He has a hole in his hand and he's just looking at it like it's nothing. And then just tapes it up. That's that's pretty badass. <laughs> so they end up needing to get a ride. So they hitch a ride with this family. Of course, played by the dad's played by uh, Harvey Keitel. Fucking badass, though. Fucking badass. Although I, I don't know which one's more badass, Harvey Keitel and Pulp Fiction, or the fact that he gets punched in the face by George Clooney in this movie. Fuck it, they're both badass. But anyway, George Clooney um, needs his help to get into Mexico to meet his buddy there at a bar called the Titty Twister. So he takes him there to meet because, you know, they wanted to meet in the early morning hours. So they go there and they have a couple of drinks, that is, until the bar actually is actually turned into a vampire lair and then all the vampires start coming out and fucking shit up. So now they gotta fight their way through the night into the morning hours to meet up with his buddy. After that long ass plot synopsis, this movie's fucking badass, okay? It is awesome. I love From Dust Till Dawn. It, it, it is probably one of the best vampire movies yet, okay? And my god, how do you not talk about this movie and not talk about Selma fucking Hayek? If you haven't seen this movie, you don't know what the fuck you're missing, okay? Oh my god, Selma Hayek was fucking hot as shit. It is. You gotta see it to know what the fuck I'm talking about. It is. Yes. 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 Okay? Daniel Bryan would say yes to that. I don't think he will ever stop saying yes to it either. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty damn awesome. The acting in this movie is sweet, solid, top-notch, don't matter. Even from Quentin Tarantino. But this is probably George Clooney's best movie till to date, basically. I don't even think the Oceans movies were this fucking cool. His character in that movie, those movies were good, but in this movie, this is a rare attempt from George Clooney. This is like a side of George Clooney that I don't think we've ever seen again after this. So, I'm glad he actually did this role. And plus, those fucking tattoos on his neck was fucking awesome anyways. George Clooney was fucking badass in this movie, okay? He couldn't get no more badass in this movie. And Cheech Marin, my god, this dude had three fucking parts in this movie. Three. That is hilariously awesome. From Dust Till Dawn is an entertaining black comedy action horror thriller yes it's all of those in one but it is damn good damn worth your time and damn it I'm gonna give this movie my badass seal of approval really gotta watch from dusk till dawn you don't know what the hell you got until you see it let me know what you guys think about this movie down below did you like it did you hate it and uh yeah I'll see you guys probably in the sequels cause I know they're out there <sighs> Yep.